The government wants the private sector and SMEs to drive the implementation of the Big Four agenda. Deputy President William Ruto says the government will reduce domestic borrowing in order not to crowd out SMEs in accessing cash from financial institutions. The, the government has been active in uh, international capital markets as a way of also uh, accessing uh, funds from there and leave the domestic resources to the private sector. We were at a fiscal deficit of 9%. We have moved it to 7%. Our target is to be at 57 this, this, this financial year. That will help us reduce borrowing by government. Ruto says the government has earmarked 200 billion shillings to assist women and youth startups access capital for the Big Four plan. This year, Kenya shillings 200 billion of public spending will be available through this program. This is in addition to existing interventions such as Youth Fund, Women Enterprise Fund. Housing Cabinet Secretary James Masharia said the recently created housing fund will be used as a safety net for investors to cushion them from any losses that may arise and encourage more investors into the housing sector. We have created what we are calling the OFTEC Agreement. This OFTEC Agreement will guarantee that if you are a developer wanting to do even 100,000 houses, money will be available through this housing fund. And after completion, you can get actually the housing fund paying you. He says the government plans to locally source all materials to be used in the housing agenda to boost the local manufacturing sector. We shall be giving them these designs. We shall be supporting them in terms of capacity enhancement. And they will, they will be the people actually creating the jobs we are talking about. Because they'll be supplying the project with those projects, with, with those uh, particular inputs from their own businesses. Development partners called for more friendly banking laws to encourage a lending to SMEs. And we would urge a repeal of the Banking Amendment Bill of 2016 and its replacement with a strong set of customer protection rules that will get rid of predatory lending, which we absolutely support getting rid of, but reduce the, the difficulties in, in raising finance. They urged both the national and county governments to lower the cost of doing business by revising taxations.